Hello, friends, and welcome to our play date. Today, we will draw and color a house and have a fun time learning new things. The shape is called a rectangle. Now, let's draw the roof. Both small houses and tall skyscrapers have it. Why do you think it is needed? I think it's to keep the rain from dripping on our heads. Well done, Emily. Now tell me, what shape is hiding on our roof? It's a triangle. Our house will have two floors and a lot of rooms. Tell me, friends, how many rooms do you have at your homes? Really? Sounds very interesting. Hey, let's count how many rooms are in this house. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, six rooms. Oh, I really want to start arranging them, but let's draw the windows first. Do you know what this shape is called? It's a square, well done. Let me add just a few more details to the outside and we'll be moving on to furniture. Hmm, what could that be? Ah, I know, it's a chimney. That's right, Emily. Finally, we get to play interior designers. I want to start with the children's room. And we've got the bed and here comes the dresser. And of course, we need a spacious shelf for toys. Here they are. Just look at this plush octopus. Let's move on to room number two. The bathroom is located here. Do you see any shapes? It's a square again. Correct. Friends, give us a thumbs up if you also like to draw houses. In the meantime, I'll draw a bath. Taking warm baths with foam is so great. And the little duck loves it too. Now do we have water? Yes. We're moving on to the parents' bedroom. They need a big, big, comfortable bed and a couple of drawers. Here comes the second drawer and a lamp on it. And this will be a nice picture on the wall. Well, friends, we filled the second floor with furniture. Let's move on to the first one. No home would be complete without a kitchen, right? This is a work area where we cook delicious food. And here we'll have a spacious cupboard. It is needed in the kitchen too. Whoa, we almost forgot the most important thing, a refrigerator. Okay, are you ready to count shapes here? One, two, three, four, five, six rectangles. What, Emily? Do you think something's missing? Ah, got it. We definitely need a staircase to get to the second floor. Thank you, Emily. And finally, here's the very last room. It's empty for now, but that won't be for long. Do you know what this room is called, friends? Yeah! That's right, it's a living room. I want to decorate it really well. So here we'll have a flower in a pot. And here comes another beautiful picture hanging on the wall. Awesome. I would have never done it without you, friends. Now let's color everything. Wow, do we have all the colors of the rainbow here? <laughs> Almost. So let's start with blue. I want the big bed in the parents' room to be blue. Now let's take brown. The main thing is to try not to go beyond the lines. Although, if it's fun, then you can do that. <laughs> the next color is purple. And we also have the green color. Oh, I'll paint the lamps green. Now all that's left to paint in this room is the wall. What color do you think would be best? Purple, my favorite. Great idea, Emily. Let's do this. Bathroom's next. And I want to start with green. Do you like this color, friends? Yeah! And how about yellow? This color is called turquoise. I like the result. Let's keep going. What color should I use next? Blue. All right. This part of the bed will be blue. I think the children's room should better be bright. And what color is best for the walls, Emily? Are you sure? Okay, I like it. The wall in the children's room is going to be yellow. Look, friends. We've already made half the house bright. Do you like it? 
Ah, this is my favorite room in any house, the kitchen. It always smells so good there, and it's very cozy, and you can have a snack when you're hungry. Most often, refrigerators are white, but I want to make it purple. I think it's a lot more funnier like this. Have you ever seen a red stove, friends? Well, now you have. <laughs> Let's choose this color. Do you still remember what it's called? <laughs> well done, it's blue color. Oh, I really like how the kitchen turned out, Ken. What's next? Well, I want to deal with the living room, if you don't mind. How about a red couch? Here comes some yellow uh, and a bit of turquoise. Ooh, I nearly forgot about green. The plan should be green. Friends, do you like drawing and coloring with us? Yay! Then subscribe to our channel. There's a lot of fun videos for you there. Wow, you're doing so great. But we still didn't use my favorite color. I know that it's pink. So here you go, Emily. Oh, this part over here is rather tricky. How many steps are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome! We've painted them in no time. Whew, I'm kind of tired already. But it's okay, we're nearly there. Yay! Emily, do you have any ideas about what color to paint the roof? Yeah, let's use brown for the top part of the roof and red for its middle part. Wow, I like how it turns out. I think that a bright roof like this will be visible even from space. <laughs> I need your help again. What color will be the chimney? Purple. Sounds like fun. And we're done. What do you say, friends? All the rooms in our house are bright and colorful. Do you like them? Me too. See you soon. <laughs>